And one thing I had to learn was the same day that I was so excited about overcoming this and really feeling great because it's been like two years. I haven't seen a video. I haven't done anything. I I even had, I will say this, I even had a boyfriend bought, bought me toys. I had to get rid of the toys. There were so many different things that I thought, okay, I cleared everything out. I'm good. But the flesh wants what it wants. And we always are battling our flesh constantly. And so with God, anything is possible. Today, I want to talk about porn and masturbation, my own personal struggles with this area in my walk with Christ, with living a pure life with my mind, body, and spirit. And I want to talk about my testimony. I want to talk about some tips and some tools. One thing I didn't do was I didn't give God permission in that area to work on my heart, to work on my mind, to work on my spirit. So I had to give this over to him because God is not a forceful God. He gives us free will. And if you don't give it over to him, you can't expect to overcome this. So one thing you have to do, and I learned this for myself, free myself of the shame and the guilt when it comes to porn and masturbation, but give it over to God. And you have to constantly do it until you feel like you know you're getting better you're feeling healed but it just takes time and don't hold anything back if you say god this is what i'm feeling you know i saw this woman and it really it, i got aroused or i had a i had blue balls because i know some men deal with that or a woman you know i had a dream last night you know just whatever it is i watched a certain show but give god permission to work on your heart don't hold anything back and if you feel any type of conviction and you feel like you need to be obedient and there's something that you need to be held accountable for, then do it. For me, I was really by myself a lot. And um, I found some cool tools. Now, I'm not associated, disclaimer, I am not associated with these tools, but I did find a couple because I was thinking about my own journey and what would be helpful for anybody that does want to watch this, um, even though I know this is my journaling situation. But I found Covenant Eyes. These are um, just a, an app that would help you track when you're online xxxchurch.com every man's battle woman at the well broken be broken ministries and purity browser so these are just a couple of tools that may help you with your phone your technology or just getting resources to help you live in a more pure way with your sexuality whether it's um, through porn whether you struggle with masturbation or you just want more advice and, and just a community of people to go to and talk to about it but those are great things and i will link all of those things in the description below the other thing i want to talk about is you got to fight this spiritually you have to keep fighting this spiritually the thing when i'm learning about masturbation important just in general is this is a spiritual warfare this is not something that we're supposed to do alone this is something that we need to call on the holy spirit we need to plead the blood of jesus christ on our lives to help us with this and i had to do this myself actually i love writing in my bible and i write it up all the time but first john 1 verse 9 this is walking in the light if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. The other verse I want to go over is in Ephesians. So Ephesians 6, 11 through 17. And this is the armor of God. So this, when we talk about spiritual warfare, this is one of the really good scriptures to read. And it says, put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but, but against the rules rulers against authorities and against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms reams therefore put on the full armor of god so that when the day of evil comes you may be able to stand your ground and after you've done everything to stand stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist with the breastplate of righteousness in place and with your feet fitted the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. And in addition to this, take up the shield of faith, which is which you can extinguish all of the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. What happened? So my mom was very transparent. She said, you know, these are certain things you want to do. These are certain things you don't want to do. I want you to wait. But if things happen, this is and that. So she was very transparent and non-judgmental. And I think I, I don't personally have kids right now, but I do think that you should have these transparent conversations with kids and let them know in an appropriate way about the different things to come. You shouldn't just tell them because you're a man of faith or a woman of faith, just don't do it. Just don't do it. Don't do it. And wait, that doesn't make any sense because as humans, majority of us are not going to wait. And then like late at night, there were some boys that were watching videos and I didn't know what it was, but I was hearing 
you know, you heard what you heard, right? And so for me, I was like, what is that? And then they had like the covers over their head watching it. And um, this was still when um, you had AOL dial up. So, you know, the internet wasn't that great, but it was still out there. So it wasn't through magazines, my first experience, but I didn't get addicted. I wasn't addicted. I saw it. I said, okay, whatever. And then let's say moving towards college years and me being an adult. I um I didn't struggle with porn and masturbation. Um I did I wanted to wait until marriage but I didn't clearly. Um I ended up losing my virginity in college with my boyfriend at the time and he and I, you know, we were doing our thing. And so the only struggle I started having with porn was once I decided to get really serious about being pure with my mind, body and spirit for Christ. I had that conviction in my soul um and once I really decided to do it, I really had these urges and I didn't know how to deal with it. But thank you so much for watching this video. Just ask yourself, what can I do today or what can I do moving forward to continue to live here in this area? Or even if I'm struggling, what's something I can do to help me in my journey? And so thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.